Hello and welcome to another episode of No Kids Allowed. And as always, what is the number one rule of No Kids Allowed, Anna? No Kids Allowed. No Kids Allowed. There was a rule breaker on Twitter. Somebody tweeted me a picture. Did you see that? Yeah, a video I did see that. Of their kid watching She it. had her baby watching She it. had her baby watching. Totally so, against the rules. <laughs> totally against the rules. Speaking of babies, today's episode, we've actually brought a baby along for Aww. our first guest. Is he not a baby? A baby. Wait, <laughs> what? Is he not a baby? I guess to you he's a baby. A haggard you're baby. Like, <laughs> a haggard baby. Because <laughs> you're like old. Oh. He's a baby to you. Okay, well, me. Anna, would you like to introduce our first guest on No Kids Allowed? Okay, so for our first guest, we needed somebody special that was a good friend of ours. And he's actually a an author. He has a book, which we did have. Where's the book, Jonathan? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the book was here. Okay. Just superimpose Just it. pretend it's here. Okay. So he's an author of... Bloody hell, what is Yeah, it? you're gay. Now what? A gay boy's guide to life. Yes. And <laughs> winner of Celebrity Master Chef. it's Riyadh. Hi. Woo! It's great to be back here. <laughs> Thank you for being our first guest. Oh, it's my pleasure. Let's do this. Yeah. I'm so excited. In today's episode, we thought it would be a really interesting idea to kind of like uh, walk down the road of discovery as parents of what it would be like to navigate the, um, your child coming out to you as gay and how, mm -hmm. how do you how do you um manage or I that? guess anywhere on the spectrum right yeah. like it doesn't not not necessarily gay but like any anywhere on the spectrum yeah because the um the whole the spectrum is so wide and like we've spoken about this with Riyadh earlier on and we were talking about how a lot of people say I'm gay because of how I dress and how I look. And Wait, from a hang distance, on. Come, can you just stand up for a second and yeah. show everyone your fabulous leggings? This is a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> but just imagine a grown man. Someone actually tweeted me um, only the other day. And they said to Anna, they were like, are you not embarrassed by at Jonathan Jolie wearing I, leggings and a short T-shirt of a grown man wearing? I, not I only was I wearing it. it, a grown man was wearing oh, it. Oh, come on. Do you know what I say to people like that? Get a hobby. You know, I know, there are seriously. bigger things in the world to worry this about. This probably is the hobby. But, yeah, <laughs> yeah actually. That is Keyboard true. warrior. But you're comfortable in what you wear. You exactly. feel good. I, exactly. I don't care. It doesn't bother me. I mean, if but anything, why you probably I care? like the spandex. <laughs> true. <laughs> but I think today it's getting more and more gray. Right? Yeah, that's As true. To what? Because, man, like we already talked about that Riyadh, who you were saying your gaydar is broken. I don't have one. It, I, and I think it's not oh. me. It's society yeah. changing, which I see as a good thing. Yeah. It's that, you know, stereotypes no longer represent people's identities yeah. only. It's it's everything about a person exactly. that, that makes them. So, you know, if I walk into a bar um, back when we could walk into a bar, um, <laughs> I, I would find it really hard to spot the homo. Yeah. Um, yeah. So thankfully I have a boyfriend now and I'm not sort of looking oh, for yeah. that anymore, you know? Yeah, because I guess that's, I always wonder about that because it's so simple. It's so easy for a straight person because it's like. That's a girl. Society yeah. standards, boy. right? You're like, okay, well, it's a guy, it's a girl, whatever. But then for, for someone that's gay, how do you know if the person that you like is or isn't gay. Well, I mean, I, th I think when you get into adulthood, you, you, you start to like mix in circles that where it might be a bit more obvious. So, right. you know, a, my big friendship group is probably 80% gay or lesbian or trans. So it's part, part of the community. We're not part of his friendship <laughs> No, you are. You're part, of, you're part of the 20%. You're We're in the 20%. Not, how does it feel to be a minority? It's fun, oh my right? God. <laughs> but, you know, so you go, you go to a gay bar or you go to like, you know, an LGBT music festival and you know that there are going to be people like you there. So is that why, not is that why they exist, but is that, does that make you feel safe? Not you specifically, yeah. but does that make you feel safer? Well, yeah, they are safe spaces. Because, Absolutely. yeah, you're, yeah. I mean, look, if I walk down um, Soho in London, you know, with my boyfriend holding hands, I feel completely safe. I feel, you know, that people are almost bored at what we look like yeah. holding hands, which I love because I don't want it to be a political statement. Yeah, I'm just in be. love with me fella. Yeah. But if I then turn a corner and walk down another street in, in London that might not be as open or accepting, I'll have to sort of shake him off or he'll shake me off. And that's a horrible feeling. Yeah. Um, Especially... 
in 2020. Like, yeah, you don't think that that. Absolutely. And I remember when I lived in Dublin, it was the same. It was this road is OK. That road is not OK. You know, Grafton Street, probably fine. Others not. Mm. And so you build up this ability to sort of know where you're safe and where you're not safe. And that is why the bars and the clubs and the, the uh, you know, youth groups and all of these things are so important because for maybe one hour a week or, you know, three hours a week, if you're going to a nightclub, you can walk in and feel completely at ease yeah. and normal. Yeah. Not normal, but like you're no longer I the know odd one out. Yeah. Mm. And that is hugely empowering to look around and see people that are just like you. Yeah. But then yet, this is where now it gets confusing because not even now, but when I was younger, Okay, mm-hmm. I was in all performance, media, dance and all that stuff. So a lot of my friends were gay. So I would go to gay bars with them mm. because I wanted to dance, proper dance. You go to a straight bar, right? It's you dance. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. You know what I mean? You got it. <laughs> That's you got, what I'm good at. Yeah. <laughs> right. Big fish. What is it? Big fish, yeah. small fish, yeah. carpal you go, to a, you go to a gay bar, you're like, you just close your eyes. You just go with it. No one yeah. cares. You close you know? your eyes. Yeah, you close your eyes. <laughs> Have you ever danced with your eyes closed? I don't think I've ever been to a gay bar. Oh, we oh, have to fix this. Never. Anna, what is wrong with you? I'm just really, really We could like just set up a boombox here and make one then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's enough of us. No, but I mean, I just, I'm so boring. Well, and I was, uh, yeah, no. When when things open up a bit more, we're going to make this happen. Yeah, the three I, of us I are going to have an eye out with never. my fella. We'll get a babysitter for the lovely little ones. <laughs> and um, we'll get some Panadol so that the next day you're feeling good. Oh my God. <laughs> Okay, is it that intense? <laughs> Could be. Okay. It depends on how hard you want to go. Yeah. Okay. Oh but then, but this is this is what I'm saying. It's like when you look at young people today, right? So let's say we're parents, right? We're both straight parents, okay? And we we're, are. We're, yeah. Well, for <laughs> clarification, <laughs> the, mo- the most of us, okay? And uh, okay. where when you have a child, okay, and you and you're looking at your child making decisions, okay, and you're thinking to yourself, oh no is my child gay? And then you're like, okay, so I should wrap them in a rainbow, Mm -hmm. right? Protect them. Protect, no, but make them stereotypical gay. Right. Making all the moves that you think is the right thing to do because that's all you know. But also it's all you know because you're, you were right. You were a straight person. Born straight or whatever. And so you have this kind of preconceived notion of what gay looks like or supposed to look like. And you get that from movies and TV and exactly. And a lot of the time it's not right. Yeah. And it actually is quite limiting, reductive and damaging Mm. where you kind of, it's the showbiz version of what a gay person is. Exactly. So when I used to work in in radio in Dublin, one of the jobs that I was kind of shoehorned into was showbiz reporter. And it was because, of course, the gay guy (laughs) wants to talk about Kim Kardashian's arse. I I guess I did. It's sometimes quite interesting, but it wasn't my calling. And I actually it was very clear, you know, that I wanted to do other things like news or or music programs or, or stuff like that. Yeah. So this stuff happens throughout your life from when you're a kid up until adulthood. And then you've got to kind of push against it and always constantly day in, day out, reaffirm, no, I may be gay, but this is who I am. Yeah. Accept it. And it sometimes comes from people that you love and, and they don't even mean to do it. Yeah. It, it comes from a nice place. But um, yeah, it's interesting. Like, do you ever have people surprised that you have like, and interest in airplanes and yes, that's what I was going to say. Big engines and yeah, yeah, all the time. It's like, like even I and I that I know that probably paints me in a really bad light, but yeah. even I was like, oh, because I just I don't know. I just didn't. But even, even think if about I was it. straight, it would be a weird thing to be standing by the runway in Heathrow on the weekend <laughs> watching the airplanes taking off and landing. Yeah, but everybody but, has quirks like that. Yeah. Has, like interest not everybody but like a lot of times you meet anybody who is just they have an interest in something that you didn't even realize and you're like oh I never knew that about you like it's just interesting it just makes you yeah yeah I I do get a lot of people question it though like you know are you sure (laughs) you know is it because of the shape of the airplane (laughs) (laughs) because it's phallic do you like jumbo jets (laughs) oh they've just been retired they have been retired (laughs) that's for another podcast yeah um but yeah you think like (laughs) you would think to yourself like if you were in a room full of gay guys it's going to be hilarious Right. And then you go in and suddenly it's more somber. And you're thinking, this yeah. isn't what I signed up for. I'm sorry. People do expect you to be oh like gosh. a laugh a minute because yeah. the, they, the, what they see is Lily Savage, Graham Norton, Alan Carr. And 
I mean, I'm probably the worst person to speak to about this because I want to be them <laughs> and I'm working towards it and I do TV and all of that. But, you know, but there are you're so not, many... they're not always on. That's, no. that's like asking a comedian, are they always going to be doing stand up when they're at a dinner party yeah. or when they're with the doctor? Are they going yeah. to be like, hang on before you test me? <laughs> Guess what? Knock, knock. Yeah. You know, that this is it's it's a character. Yeah, Have you seen 100%. The Birdcage? Oh, yeah. Um, about Robin Williams. Yes. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing so remember story. that came up the other day and I said to you, I was like, that is so funny when flamboyant oh, gay yeah, people trying to be straight. Yeah. It is just so <laughs> yeah, funny. Yeah, you told me about it. I haven't yeah. seen it. Yeah. But I think that's that's the thing. It's like, how do you know the difference between, between... Riyadh and myself, okay, grew up the same. We had the same interests, okay? True. There's only one thing different. I like girls and he likes boys. Mm. But if you were to line with complete strangers, yeah, based get... on our life and how we look, people might say, I'm the gay one, not yeah. you. Mm. <laughs> You know, is that an, is that upsetting to you that I'm more gay than you? I, mean, I, I worked really hard to get that yeah. membership. The, the card is, is now expired. Wow. Yeah. My God. Oh. I, it, it's an interesting one, isn't it? Because I think a society put that label on you mm. before you were able to go, hang on. Wait, 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 wait. I'm just Jonathan. Yeah. I'm not gay Jonathan or straight Jonathan. I'm yeah, just yeah. this wacky guy who likes to dance, who, you know, talks with the, the voice that you have and has a fun whoa, time. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a second. What's wrong they with They know. Voice? They know. <laughs> do they? You do have like a, not high pitch. What? Oh no, God. this is news to him. No, it's not high pitch, but it's like a, you have I a I can change that. Hold on, there must be a button here. You have a higher tone, which is actually, I mean, I view it as a I nice love thing. It. I love it. I don't okay. Do you know what it so, is? You're, you're like wavelength. You're like up and down. You're very melodic. You've got like right. a song in your voice. <laughs> It's, you sound like uh, a kid's TV presenter. Yeah. Oh my, is that a, is that a good thing? As a, it's a adult, wonderful a, thing. Cause <laughs> guess what? You have kids. So they have a live <laughs> in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Blue Peter guy. That is true actually. It's amazing. Yeah. yeah. So never lose that. But it was mistaken as right. being a homosexual's voice. Yeah. And that, that's so. Which wh- th- there's no such thing. No, exactly. there isn't. Exactly. That's true. why people try so hard. Like it's the same with uh, even lesbians. Like how there's no, but you think. Our, our children have even said this. So like they'll, and it's not their fault. It's just like, this is society. Like this mm-hmm. is how it works. So they'll see, um, you know, I've, I've spoken to them about the fact that boys can marry boys and girls can marry girls and you can marry whoever Boys you want. can become girls and girls can exactly. become boys. I've said this to them. And, but even if I show them like, for example, a lesbian couple, they'll be like, but who's the boy? Mm. You know? So the gender roles are so ingrained into the young person's head yeah and that isn't your fault that it, you know they go to school and and they hear about moms and dads and mom jobs and dad jobs yeah you know, Theresa May um and they you know, so it's, it's everywhere it's constant yeah. advertising they see a billboard and it's you know a woman like that on the bed and then the yeah. man catching her exactly it's, it's kind of masculine feminine it so is like it's not any because even, I mean, they see it on, on TV or in Disney movies. It's mm. the same. It's like there's always a prince and a princess. Like, that's just how it Slowly is. Slowly seems to be changing, though. Have you I noticed think so. that? Mm. The, like Even Frozen, they put the, the sauna. Wasn't it the guy in the market? Can I say something that's contentious? Like, what's that? Ooh. I've never seen Frozen. Well, yeah. then you know there's a second would one. Would you like now me to well? leave? <laughs> I have only ever seen bits of it. He's, oh, he's okay. Well, then it's it. fine. Yeah. Yeah, he's not interested. Are you not no. interested at all? I, there's like two cartoons that I like Riyadh, Aladdin, and Finding Nemo. So, you Riyadh, you Riyadh, you're a gay are. man. Mm. I'm expecting you to know every Disney movie. <laughs> yeah. to know no, every but Disney you actually song. are alike in that way too. Because yeah. he's like, like, I will happily watch kids' movies right. on date night. And he's like, absolutely no, no, no way i want a drama a yeah way, like emotion and a bit of fun right. and happy Jeez. like aaron brockovich oh my god amazing <laughs> film still alice titanic you, yeah i love titanic but you i know i own a piece of coal from titanic the actual ship oh wait is this more like you like titanic because of the history of it yeah because i was thinking uh, like no Jack. i'm the story both <laughs> I, I had a poster of like leonardo dicaprio in my bedroom like that was my yeah oh, that was, was such a baby i know sorry we've gone off but are you sure you have coal from Titanic or was this a, an eBay offer? No, I bought it at a, a Titanic exhibition Aww. and it was the tiniest little piece of coal. It's like about a third of the size of your baby finger on it. Finger How do you know? And it comes with a little certificate of oh, authenticity. Oh, it comes with a certificate. Yeah, well, you that's can someone get the I once too. bought one of my girlfriends a star in the sky. Guaranteed. Came yeah, with a certificate. 
Right, so I don't know which one it is. <laughs> At least I have something I can hold. Exactly. I, I don't get that. She had something she could hold. I don't. I've never what? got. That. She had something she could hold. You. What? Yeah. In her arms. Okay. As you looked up into the sky. I'm like, I'm not a part do you, of this Do you anymore. miss her? <laughs> a little bit. A little this bit. is like couples therapy. Yeah. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> do you have anything you'd like to add, Anna? No, I'm okay. Thanks. <laughs> I feel like I, just, I need to go know. back to all my ex-girlfriends and ask them, did you ever think my voice was gay? Are you still not over that? Well, I'm, ju- I'm just... We, ne- we I, didn't I, say I, it was I gay. I never said it was gay. We didn't I said say it that, was that. Um, because we are not... It had a lot of inflections. Labelers. You're not labelers. I used to be a labeler. I am As a reforming labeler. Yesterday? was it? When did you stop labeling? <laughs> this morning. <laughs> this morning. <laughs> I'm, I'm learning, okay? So... I was going to say that though. So I do like labels. Yeah. I have two label makers. One of them's really cool, trendy. It's got like the typewriter kind I have of one too. Yeah, it's really Everything's cool. Everything's labeled. So I do like labels because it makes it it makes sense for me. Kind of makes me feel a bit more comfortable. Do you think it's okay to not cuz what if you have a child, right? Who doesn't actually want to they don't want to label. They don't no. want to conform yeah. to any kind of box or mm-hmm. whatever how do you deal with that as a like how do you navigate that as the parent yeah I think um it's really important as a parent to stop seeing your child as a, a male person a female person as uh you know gay or straight or or pansexual or bisexual it's it's just your child yeah it's the human mm-hmm. being that you brought into the world I know that sounds quite you know left you know and you know hippy dippy but really honestly just boil it down to this is the amazing human being that I produced and no matter whatever whatever they come out as if they ever come out as anything that that soul that personality those interests and hobbies and um, the love that you have for them and they have for you will never change yeah that's the true. stuff that will change is all um superficial shite yeah um, that lives on the periphery of who they are as a human being that is true so but let me say as well that I understand fully when a parent comes to me and says you know my son just came out as trans and I'm really finding it hard and um, but I can't let them know yeah uh, my my daughter just came out as as a lesbian um I don't know what to do I really want to accept her but my whole image of who my child is yeah. has changed so don't rush to you know overly quickly be an amazing you know parent what yeah. I would say is if you're finding it hard which probably will happen to a parent if their kid comes out to them say the nice thing say you'll be there for them support them hug them and then step away mm. take some time for yourself process the information talk to other parents of LGBT kids ask them how long it t- took them to feel like they were in a normal space again yeah go to counseling learn about your child's community's history Mm. That your kid is just one part of a giant movement, beautiful movement of love and acceptance. And you now have a ticket to be part of that yeah. journey. My mom always says it that having a gay son wasn't um, a sort of a hindrance or a, a curse or a sickness. It was a gift. Yeah. And I totally agree with that. That My gayness and my membership uh, in the community um, just you know by being who I am that has brought so many amazing opportunities into our lives to um, have amazing empathy for other people to go to pride parades to meet people like me around the world to help um, mm. to yeah. open our eyes I think it's really um, validating that you said that about um, like being okay with not feeling okay about it because that's my fear is that like I am just by nature a more like I, I don't have a problem with anybody doing whatever they want. I really don't. And I, I mean, least of all, like my children, because I want my children to be happy, obviously. But I do know that I'm just by nature a more traditional. I've had a more traditional upbringing. Yeah. I've had a more traditional life, maybe in some senses. And so I know that I would struggle with it a little bit. Like I'm okay with it and I will happily yeah. support them in whatever, but I know that there will be times deep down when I, where I will kind of struggle with that. Like, cause like you said, you have an image of what they're going to be like the rest of, you know, as soon as you get pregnant yeah. or as soon as you find out it's a boy or, I mean, I've done gender reveals. Like, I don't know how you even feel about them. Cause now, nowadays people Mixed, are like, oh. to say the least. Exactly. Well, and I've done that. So I'm like, no, but don't, 
beat yourself up over what you did in a time where yeah. that was fun and exciting. And, and yeah. to be honest, even if you wanted to do gender reveal now, I wouldn't hate you for it. Okay. How, well, how, what, in what? fairness, they get great views on YouTube. <laughs> no, so that's I recommend not Don't burn it. down any forests because yeah. that's no, what happened we in have America never, recently. No, we've never done that. <laughs> no, and you do live next to a lot of big trees. <laughs> you know? No, but I, I really enjoyed it. I loved finding mm. out yeah. what we were having. And then you have this picture in your... Ha- you can't help it. Especially if you're like... But do you see now, though, why something like a gender reveal 100%. puts that pressure, not just on the, the fetus, yeah. but also on you as a parent <laughs> that fetus. I can only yeah. see this child as blue or pink? 100%. Hmm. But that was me. Like, I did it and I was like so happy to do it. And now I'm realizing, oh, maybe that wasn't such a great idea or like maybe if maybe future Anna wouldn't do that kind of thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, But I, everyone, every future version of yourself is easy to look back yeah, on yeah. your past You're mistakes. You're always learning. So even and I, as the way I am, I still can't help but imagine my two daughters being married and my two sons do. marrying. And then I would say like, yeah, if either of my children became gay, I'd be like, okay with that. That's fine. No problem. But I would also, if... It would pause me. Yeah, you'd if one have of like them an internal. Trans, if one of them changed their gender identity, I would be paused for a moment, and I would I would have to evolve because yeah. exactly I have been conditioned my entire life to see boys and girls, not sexuality, not preference, not expression, just my boy will do this. Yes, mm-hmm. and now my boy is now a girl, and my boy and my girl, and now or, or my boy is now no gender. Yeah, which is, true. is yeah. another thing I know. you know to to think about. Um, but I, I, I commend both of you so much for having open conversation and dialogue like this, because this is the new face of parenting. And mm. it's really exciting for someone like me who grew up in a time where there was so much shame and fear and disgust about one's, you know, uh, identity mm. to think like if I was, had the, the privilege of growing up in a house like this, I wouldn't even have to, to think about, you know, holding in that secret for four years Mm. four terrible horrible mind-altering years that have caused me so much trauma now even into adulthood yeah so what I would say is um the best thing that a parent can do uh whether they think their kid is going to be straight and cisgender or Mm -hmm. or gay or trans or whatever cisgender by the way is someone who's born into the gender that they I just learned that like that they you know identify with that you know they're assigned the the gender that they're comfortable with so we're all cisgender yeah so it's completely separate to sexuality Mm -hmm. um but if the best thing that you can do as a parent what I was saying was uh make sure the household and the dialogue they're having in the house is so unbelievably open accepting Mm -hmm. if a trans or or a lgbt person comes on tv celebrate that person say why they're brilliant outwardly yeah and not just for the song that they just performed but just Mm -hmm. aren't they so brave aren't they aren't they great we really or or you know introduce your child to friends of yours who might be part of that community Mm -hmm. and make sure the kid knows that you love and accept that person as you would them yeah say things to the kid like no matter who you are no matter what you ever tell me I will always love you exactly the same. Nothing will ever, ever change that uh, and hammer it home. And then if it comes to that point, honor what you said, Mm -hmm. even if it stings, take the sting and walk away, like I said, and then come back when you're ready to say something kind. Yeah. Yeah. Because even having, you know, you have a son, right? And let's say you, you, you throw him in the air and you do like all these games with your son, right? And then your son starts to be more feminine, right? And then you think like, I think the mistake would be to not, you know, you can still be a son. Yeah, right? you can still but do the same You can things. still do the son thing. So like that's There's the nothing thing. wrong. Like it doesn't change your relationship. It shouldn't yeah. change your no. relationship. So I can, so when I look at myself and I think, yeah, like I love, you know, do landscaping and digging holes and playing with cars and, you know, all these masculine things. But at the same time, I quite fancy being fancy. <laughs> 
Yes. You know, but I, I <laughs> and can you have, prefer. But it's the perfect balance. That's why I love you because <laughs> we're basically the same person. And yeah. I, when I grew up with my dad, I was always so afraid because he wanted me to do karate. I didn't want to do karate. The boys in school wanted me to, to play football. Mm-hmm. I didn't want to play football. And I was always friends with the girls. And so mm-hmm. there was always this kind of pull and push about who does society, my parents and friends want me to be. I can never fit the Did mold. you find that confusing? I found it... it mm, confusing yeah but also the I think the main thing was I felt like a constant failure I like mm-hmm. a letdown no I can't be what anyone wants me to be I don't want to play football with you I don't want to do karate because you are telling me to do it mm-hmm. I've no interest in an action man so you know <laughs> it, it's small things you know like if someone gave you a gift and you had to pretend that you liked it yeah you know right yeah. up to the the interests and passions that you had mm. but you know although I I Loved the performing arts and drama and looking pretty and and, and sometimes putting on makeup and dresses in my cousin's house. I also loved going fishing with Dad. Mm. Yeah. And I loved, you know, uh, we bred racing pigeons and bring them down to Kildare and letting them off and timing them how fast they can come home and quite boyish things to do. So um, I think when you find a happy medium like that where the kid can just be. Yeah. And did did your relationship with your dad change after you came out yeah to him like or was that temporary or um, has it yeah so I, I always had the most incredible relationship with dad since I was a kid and then I called the coming out moment like our blip our, our little moment of crapness because mm-hmm. that's, that's what I feel like a coming out is not just for you right yeah so I, I think, think that like if you don't come out okay let's say you um slowly Change to gay without telling your parents. Change to gay. <laughs> you mean like well, they're always gay, but right, you mean right, like right. slowly yeah, come out. You slowly come out to all your friends. Right, see and, it, and you start. But you having, don't say it. You mean you don't, you don't say, say it. it? I think that there is that is. Sl- I know it sounds crazy, but I feel that like that's almost selfish because you're not allowing people to mo- not mourn the passing of the. I feel that way straight too, person. Actually. It's like when but you came out to your dad. Okay, it was for you to say it, mm-hmm. right? Be it. It's real. It's your truth. And then for your dad, it was his opportunity to take it in and process it. Yes. And if you didn't I, give him that, mm-hmm. he would never process it. So people who just, when they are gay, but don't actually ever tell anyone they're gay, just accept that they're gay. I feel like... I can see both sides. I know. I, I'm quite excited that we're moving into a, a world slowly, in the, probably in the next like 20 years, where people will do more of that. Mm. They won't have their coming out moment and they'll be like, you know, balloons or like a note or a big Also old good for YouTube views. Mm, yeah. Mm-hmm. See, I kind of like that. I like the idea rainbow. of that. <laughs> that sounds cool. No, it's good. It's great to celebrate I the identity, but isn't it great to not so it'll have be to declare it? Communion, know, confirmation, the- coming out. <laughs> yeah, the three C's. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I, okay, I know what you mean. So I have, I don't know if she's going to want me to mention this, but I have a sister. That's who what I was thinking of. I, and I hope she doesn't hate me for saying this because she's a really private person, but she's married to a woman. Mm. And for me, it Disgusting. was. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm allowed to say that. <laughs> <laughs> so for me, it was difficult because she never had a coming out moment. Right. Now my sister rejects labels and I respect her. Now I can understand her feeling on that and I can understand her reasoning for it and there's an empowerment behind it yes so she she's always been so private about things like that and she she never said it to me but I resented that because I was like I'm her big sister I should have known and I feel I felt so upset not left out but I just felt so upset that she never told me because I wanted to know and I also kind of felt like because Jonathan he see this is why when you said about your gay jar being broken like i don't think i have one like i just don't know so it's it's an old term anyway it's like it's so yeah i know (laughs) what is it you know yeah that's true but jonathan was like oh i had a like he had said it to me a few times he was like oh i think possibly she might be either bisexual or gay or something and i was like no way she's not like, I know she's not. She's yeah. my little sister. I would know. Like, when we played, not that this has anything to do with it, but in my mind it did. When we played games, like, growing up, I was always the dad and she was the mom. I was like, there's no way. <laughs> that was my thinking. Right, okay. And then suddenly she's married to a woman and I was just like, wait, what? Like, where was, 
where was the coming out the balloons yeah 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 <laughs> it's where was that i i understand where you're coming from and and this is something i write about in my book is that you uh a lot of people get really upset and and almost offended when they they haven't had that person come out to them yeah and they and timing as well it's like but you came out to them before me and I was over here I was like the fifth person in line what I always say is if someone gets empowerment from the Mm -hmm. idea of coming out because like your sister she got empowerment from not having an identity but I get empowerment actually from a label some people like that it Mm -hmm. it lifts them up and I I did at least then um the most important person or people in my life I told last because right. everyone else is sort of a, a building up it's like the warm-up mm. act right. I'm, I'm I'm using you as my coming out guinea pig is what I call it in the book you you find someone that's probably on the periphery of your life it's it's like a friend of yeah. a friend you'd kind of trust them the main thing is they're not going to take the information home or yeah, spread yeah. it far mm-hmm. they'll always spread it but not that far Mm-hmm. So I told three girlfriends that I kind of got on with well in school um, and, you know, a day later, 400 people in the school knew. So no. <laughs> they had they had done the groundwork for me. I didn't have to tell right. everyone individually. I felt painful. I felt like, well, that was my thing to say. But also that's a bit, a bit of a weight off my shoulder. But didn't mm. we learn from Greece when she got pregnant at the end? Wait, what? Remember the girl Greece? in Greece? Guys. Oh, so, Greece Light. Like, we haven't seen Greece. I haven't seen no, Greece. No, I have. What? Have you not? Riyad. Okay. I've only seen the bit right. in the fairground. I don't believe you're gay. I don't, <laughs> I'm starting I to question this. <laughs> I love musicals. I just don't like I that think, musical. I think that Riyad might be faking it for the career. <laughs> yeah. <Okay. laughs> it's just so I can get close views. to women. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Or maybe that's why people do it on the internet now, because yeah. you stick it's up a quick. gram, a YouTube, it's Yeah, done. my cousin did it on yeah. Facebook. Mm. But that's their amazing decision and I know. their moment. So the, yeah. in the film Love, Simon, have you seen Love, Simon? Watch it. Show your kids. It's it's gorgeous and it's it's kid friendly and it's about coming okay. out and all that. Um, well, maybe it's a 12. So I don't know. <laughs> uh, but it, it, this kid, Simon, is gay and uh, someone in school outs him. And it's way mm. before he's ready. It's premature and it gives him so much trauma and, and upset. And it's something that, you know, you know that this character and many people in real life hold on to that anger that that yeah, special so moment was taken from them. Mm. They, they were they were the power was taken. Mm. At least when I think of my coming out, I know that I did it in my yeah. time and I did it in my way using my voice. Yeah, but then no, there's the other people, right? Fair. So Anna has a cousin, Owen, mm. OK, who's... We all knew he was gay for his whole life. Well, as far as I've known him, okay? And yeah. then one day he came forward and he said, guys, I'm gay. And like everyone was and like- And he had to act. Ah! Everyone was like, wait. No, I didn't. Was, was this- I didn't, I didn't. No, I, did I, I replied back and I was like, yeah, I know. Everyone <laughs> like, knows. Duh. And he was like, oh, okay. okay. Was he disappointed? <laughs> Probably, he didn't, it wasn't in person. It was like via text. Cause oh, I think we'd already okay. moved to the But there's UK, some people who yeah, he was, I think he was don't even need it. to come out, but they need to have their moment. If yeah, they want no, to have and I, I didn't really understand you that. You don't want that big pink elephant in the room anymore. You just yeah. want it, it. Cause when you're talking about liking labels, I, I, I'm not putting words in your mouth here, but I mm-hmm. presume it's because it takes away any of this sort of like the guesswork. Ambiguity. It's yeah. like, you know, I know that you like, you know, decaf ice lattes. <laughs> And, yep. you know, when I go to make coffee, I'm going to feel secure because I know I'm going to be making her the right drink. Yeah, no, Just that, like that is it. When mm. you know someone's identity, whatever it might be, you know you're not going to step your foot in it, maybe. Yeah. You know that you were going to be more inclusive in what you mm-hmm. talk about, that things that will interest them and you. Yeah. You know, so I, I understand why it feels uncomfortable to not know. But what I would say is sort of lean into the uncomfortableness. Mm-hmm find other elements of that individual that you're maybe confused about yeah. that you can sort of use more in conversation and in your relationship mm-hmm. and just create an environment around them no matter what age they are where they feel like you are one of the best people to talk to about really deep emotional shit yeah see i don't think i did that very well with my sister but that's okay but I then I, I failed at that okay. yeah. but i just didn't know how to um I, I just, I wasn't expecting it, basically, yeah. is the truth of, of it. Shock. How I, did you find out? Um, she you don't have to say it. She invited no, you I to her wedding. I can't remember. Yeah. That was how you found out? Well, not that she was, 
I guess she moved to New York and I kind of thought that she was just experimenting. I didn't take it seriously. And but everyone else, I probably should be ashamed to say that. But I it's weird. She's not my child. Obviously, she's my sister, but she's my little sister. She's like three and a half years younger than me. And so I feel like almost like a maternal. Yeah. And I felt like I was left in the dark kind of. Mm. And I also I don't know why I thought of this, but I just kind of imagined like you would a daughter or a son. I imagined her wedding looking very different and I imagined it to be to a man. Like that's just the reality of it. I just, I thought she was going to be like me. And how are you now? I'm fine with it now. Yeah. But there was a little, there was like a blip, like what you said. And I hope she's okay with me mentioning this. I think she probably is because now I, I'm totally, I would have been totally accepting of it had it been more like, clear to you me. needed the coming out <laughs> i you, needed the is i'm a very black and white person yes. like you know where this is where we're going at this time and if we're not there then i'm just yeah. not happy yeah whereas you're more of kind of oh, i'll see if we're but that, that's why we are we are so opposite and i think that's why we work well Compliment together each other yeah, yeah. because she yeah, reigns so he, in my you didn't flakiness. care you no, didn't care i was just like i mean but then it's not his sister like but it's it was different. more for me i was like that makes sense i knew since i met emma <laughs> There was something, I'm very good at reading people, right? And I'm very, and I'm very just charismatic. I'm flowing with people. But she's my blood. And I was like, like she's me, my little sister and I didn't know. That's, that's okay. terrible. That's what okay. a terrible older sister. Like, did your brother know? That I was gay? Yeah. No. Really? No, I don't think so. We haven't really spoken about it. Oh. He found out when I told the others. I guess he's your younger I mean, brother my, I think my grandmother or my auntie had, a, had an idea. I think my parents just thought I was a bit different. Did your mum know? Uh, no, she just thought it was a bit different. I think it, as I was growing up, there were times where she thought, mm, mm, that's a bit unusual for a, a young boy. To, yeah. No, she never that's sort of so put a label on it. We talked about this before, okay. but... Um, the labels again. <laughs> so when I, was, when I was younger, my mom thought I was gay, right? And then because we were talking about how can you jump the gun by accident mm-hmm. as a parent? And I think my mom was concerned that maybe not, I don't know if concerned, well, it was the eighties. Maybe she was concerned, <laughs> Maybe you know, and um, how, how would she find out for real? So she and her friend uh, thought it was a good idea to introduce me to their friend who was gay, who was in their twenties. And then I, and then sent me to his house and to stay with him. <laughs> what to like, like a big brother kind of thing just I, i'm not i'm not sure like when, the way i hope it wasn't a date it, yeah the way you say it so can i just say that jonathan's mom is really like open-minded and so and no, i think she's my so mom accepting is of, a fixer mm. so yeah true she was but like I just don't typical want her, irish I don't, mammy yeah i just don't want her i don't want anybody to take it the wrong way like no she no no not in wrong. a bad way she she's but, not at all fairness, like she's very she saw that i didn't fit in in school okay i was bullied in school i had a hard time i didn't fit i wasn't a boy a boy boy in the 80s in Dublin boy boys very rigid idea yeah. of what a boy was back so then. she was concerned and I think she wanted to hey maybe Jonathan is one of these new gay people <laughs> yeah okay? that I've seen on the telly yeah, I've seen on the telly <laughs> on the late late yeah yeah <laughs> so let's uh let's send him off to a, an actual certified gay and let that person do an audit on him. Right. And to, and to, and to you know, get the label maker but out. hold on a second. It's the 80s, right? Right. There's like music, like musicians and stuff were gay. Or were they not well, remember openly it, gay? Uh, in Ireland, it was uh, illegal to be gay until mm. 93, 4. No, I yeah. didn't know yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So homosexuality as in gay sex. Um, I'm not saying it like that because it's gay sex. I would just say, uh, you know, like <laughs> yeah. sex in general. But it's... Illegal. It, it, it was yeah. illegal. And Senator David Did Norris you know and Mary Robinson, mm. former president of mm-hmm. Ireland, took this is incredible. They took Ireland to the European Court of Human Rights. And the case was called Norris versus Ireland. Wow. One man versus the How nation. How did I not know this? Um, it, it's just an amazing story. And he fought to decriminalize gay sex and, and I guess gay identities with that. And he won. Wow. Mm. And uh, and then it became legal. So in the 80s, although, you know, there were, you know, Boy George and George Michael and all of this stuff, uh, it still wasn't OK. Like allowed. Mm. No. That's crazy. Yeah. Well, even divorce. My parents. Yeah, no, that is. I, when I think of that. Blasphemy I'm like, was only outlawed a couple of years ago. Mad, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. 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 You know, yeah. which is crazy. Saying the Lord's name in vain. You know? I know. But anyway, I uh, I went there yeah. and then I ended up fancying his friend who was a girl. And that's what I think he wrote back with. 
you know what I mean? That, uh, yeah. My know. diagnosis is <laughs> yeah. severely <laughs> heterosexual. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no cure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no cure. <laughs> but that was, you know, I didn't understand what was happening until years later when I sort of wondered about it, when I started getting in more into and making more gay friends. And mm-hmm. then a lot of them all thought I was gay. You know, and then like all my friends in like dance and stuff all thought I was gay. And then years later, I met them in clubs. You know what I mean? And then I was probably hitting on them. And they were like, whoa, whoa, what's going on? And I was like, what do you mean? They're like, we all thought you were gay. And I was like, are you serious? But did, <laughs> I missed out on all of that. <laughs> did you ever? You got no action at all. There was action, but it wasn't enough. As prolific as you would like it to. Yeah, okay. No, well, but no, but there was a sense. It's of, never I, enough, really, is it? But, but they would say that. I was a great friend to them, mm. right? Because but you I'm still a, are. I am not a, a better, pervy guy. No, okay? but you still are. You have more relationships with. <laughs> this sounds bad. You have more relationships with women than you have with. Men. I do. <laughs> you know what I yeah. mean? Friendships. No, but I'm, I'm I mean, the same, I guess. Do but you I'm, prefer hanging out with women than men? This is the weird thing. Um, I love hanging out with gay men and straight okay. women. Right. I still find hanging out in a social way with straight men quite difficult what about you and you well we're fine like Mm. in this situation and we know each other quite well but i think that if i was to in a social environment where if we were both single like we actually went to a club once in la yeah but i was there yeah but you guys were holding hands and you guys left together and everyone thought that you everyone was Was tweeting yeah 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 and everyone was tweeting that some guy is with anna holding hands in anaheim (laughs) yeah yes yeah. And I was like, gotcha. Can I just say that was like post miscarriage and I was. Oh, I didn't know. Did you not? No, I didn't know the timings. Oh, yeah. Yeah. How, how long after? Like a month. Oh, wow. Or two months. What did you do? <laughs> I, no, no, but no. I, I remember it that. It was post miscarriage. So I was like, you know, that was like my, yeah. that was like my wild night out. We did. We had a great time. But that was yeah. a really. I yeah, remember it was we great. were we were, went to the, the, a party and uh, some YouTube network had hosted it. Yeah. Yes. And yeah. I was at the door and they said, "Sorry, you can't come in." I was like, "What?" And I, I said, "I have a ticket. I had an e-ticket." And oh, they yeah. said, um, "Show me your uh, show me your channel." And no. they wanted to see how many subscribers I had to decide whether they're going to let me in or not. And I think I had like at the time a quarter of a mil, two hundred and fifty, and they were like, "Hmm." And like, how often do you upload? Like, what what do you do? Oh on YouTube? my! Like, Are like, you a, like a YouTube doorman. And then they put me in a holding room with about five other YouTubers no. that were like, maybe they're not quite big enough to be in this oh party. Oh my! And then an executive from this network, um, the network was. Oh, I know which one it was. The, I didn't get this that. This executive came in like <laughs> like a big shot, and he goes, "So uh, yeah, you can come in. Sorry, guys, you can't you can't come." And like, I felt almost like in defiance, I wanted to go, no, F you, I'm going with yeah. these guys to a pub. But I knew you guys were in there and a lot of my other friends were there and it, like oh you traveled God. halfway across the world yeah, for this party and other things. So I went in. Um, I can't believe that. But I like to this day, I would never work with them. And they, they were partnered with some really, really huge well, creators. Well, you know who owns them? Wait. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Still, I mean, who? Yeah, we can. <laughs> I, we'll tell you later. I can't lip read. I can't lip read. Well, but I, I, I met, I met your, your, yeah, I met your friends there, and it was a fun. And fun it's night. strange yeah. how we that was a good always night. went to those conventions, okay? Because we didn't do any of that kind of stuff when we were small YouTubers. We only did it as quite large YouTubers. Yeah. So we would have had management in the blacked out car through the back entrance oh, into these right. events. Did the whole things. I've never experienced anything like that. Mm. That's amazing. That's horrible. Yeah, it is. Shame on them. It as you rise through like the ranks in the YouTube world, it's a really, really dark place mm. to be. Not because of YouTube.com, the website mm. itself. It's mm-hmm. because of all of the businesses that yeah. Yeah. you know align themselves with YouTube. I, I think one of the best ones is I think somewhere in the city do it in a really great way where it's kind of in a level playing field. Yeah, it's right. not kind of like. Um, subscriber politics of mm. you know you're better you're you're worse for some reason it's awful some of the other uh conventions l- are like that what i find always always difficult with the american conventions is i never carry id and oh, it doesn't matter yeah. it does not matter i'm like last convention we were at i was like 37 or 38 and they were like, no. And I'd have to go around to somebody like, anyone have ID that I can that, that I can get the the, the <laughs> wristband so I could be allowed to drink. 
Oh, I never had that problem. Well, you always I was in always bed. like in bed with yeah. the baby breastfeeding or oh. something. <laughs> and that was the thing, and right? You didn't so, want any whiskey in the breast milk. So <laughs> no, 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 but okay. I would always go out. Like I've often, I all my friends are girls, pretty much, right? Mm. And I go out clubbing with girls, and I go to parties with girls. Not Anna, but are girls. And some people right. have often said, like, do you not worry about that? Anna? Oh, so many times, really? which is so funny because this is why I don't really. Um, agree with horoscope like I don't really believe horoscopes because I'm a Scorpio right and Scorpios are supposed to be really jealous people Uh and I'm like the least jealous person ever like I don't care I don't believe them I think they're a money-making racket yeah it's apparently I'm Aquarius but then it changed recently didn't it they all shifted they shifted I think I'm a how can you change yeah no they did somebody told me astrological signs changed because remember I had the necklaces which I really only made because my dad it was my dad's necklace. Yeah. It wasn't because I was big into horoscopes or yeah. star signs or whatever, but it was a Scorpio necklace. And then the, um, people were like, oh, what are you going to do now that they've all changed? And I was like... Nothing. Wait, some oh, people have why? built their entire identity. If you believe, like oh, yeah. people believe in fate, people believe in whatever they want, but some people believe in I mean, I, some, some of the things, it's fun to be like, like sometimes I think it's fun to be like, oh yeah, you're this sign, so that means you're X, Y, and Z. Yeah. But then it doesn't work half the time. Well, one thing that, that it did feel weird was that I kept finding myself in relationships or dating l- l- Leo? Libras. Oh, Libra. Libras or Leos. I don't remember. But do you one. think a name? Well, over and over and over. And they were all weird. musical theater guys. Oh. Oh. So I don't know. But do you think a name, name means something? Have you ever dated more of the same name? No. no. That doesn't mean anything. I have. I've dated three Emmas. Have you? Yeah. I, I never knew that. Oh, the, there was probably a lot name. of Emmas born in Ireland at a certain time. Maybe, but I remember. I know a lot. I know a lot of Emmas. So. But I, I, it so started to happen, and then to think of it. Yeah, but then it was like at the third time, I was like, "That's mental." <laughs> no, it's not. It's just... well, at least it's less of a chance of you saying that person's name by accident. Well, I'd be handy if you got a tattoo or something, you know. <laughs> oh yeah, that's yeah. Have you ever accidentally said someone's name in a nice moment? <laughs> I uh, have. I don't think so. <laughs> really? But they, we were, we had a nice night out, so we were both a bit sloppy, and they didn't hear it. Oh no! Because <laughs> it was like, I, I'm going to make up a different name because they don't know. <laughs> I was like, Oh Ben. Oh no! But the person's name was something like Andrew. Sven. Oh, that's way off. <laughs> oh, you can't I, even was, fake that. Like, even like four syllables and one syllable. Yeah. Was, you remember you were telling me you were like, no, don't worry. Gay, us gay men, we're not promiscuous. And then you'd bring out that story of like, <laughs> great. Oh, well, hold on. Oh, it makes come me on. feel uh, so uh, He had his time with Emma and Emma and Emma. I know, I am the only saint over here. You are that's a saint just over like, there. you know, uh, but I, But I, I don't know what your number is, but mine's pretty bad. You know, I had fun. I had an, I never, I, I, I had an adventure. I will tell you my number, Jonathan. It's one. <laughs> it's one. Are you one? Yes, yeah. I am oh, one. No. Yeah. Honey. Well, I was oh, like, oh, Anna. <laughs> so I'm in between two sluts. Oh, come on. <laughs> slut shaming. Slut sha- you should let her go out and, and you know. Oh, well, <laughs> yeah. It's a bit late now. In your relationship, would you say that you're the more like the dominant, dominant masculine? Yes. Yeah. And mm-hmm. um, that's so interesting. Very open about that. Because I bet yeah. people would not no. guess that. Really? Yeah. So if, you, if, if you, if you, if you, are, you if Josh was sat here, no, no, no. Me. If you were on your own, like you on your own, they yeah. would probably be like, oh no, He's I quite think quite submissive. Yeah. yeah, not submissive, but you know what I mean, like yeah. the gender roles that you play, sure. kind yeah. of thing. If if he was here, you'd probably in thirty seconds be like, yeah. ah, okay. No, I've seen him. Oh, so yeah, yeah. I watch oh, his I, stories. I yeah. jo- Josh is very. Um, he's he's quite gender fluid in how he dresses. He runs like a queer club night, so he's quite arty and funky and he kind of likes being, you know, submissive, which is lovely because we work. We work very yeah. well that way. Any video they should watch, <laughs> though, I think I would recommend right, the, coming, the out. coming out video yeah. with your yeah. parents. Is that still up? Yeah. So just okay. type in Riyadh Calaf coming out. And just yeah. leave it there. Because that is like. That's why you first found him, right? No, no, no. No, no because he... he did that later. You sent me a video once you were crying about Oh, Rhea. I was like bawling. You were always crying. No, I was like, It was actually, another one probably. Was no, it, was it was that it, one. And then oh, I, was it your calling your bully one? Oh, yeah. No, that was like, that, that was wasn't that sad. Six, seven years ago. No, but it was one of those like ones. No, Jonathan, the coming out videos. So I remember actually, sorry to like ruin the ending, but I remember um, Francesca, our old manager. Remember Francesca? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
she <laughs> texted me because I told her about the video and I was like, you need to watch it. It's, it's so amazing. And so she watched it. She was like, I'm watching the video. I'm crying already. I was like, no, 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 you haven't. <laughs> no, you haven't. And there's then, something coming. Exactly. And so if you haven't watched it, just watch it. You'll know exactly what I'm talking about. And I shouldn't be laughing when I'm saying it, but you know, anyway, so then <laughs> she texts me like a few minutes later. She's like, oh my God. I was like, <laughs> I know. I knew it was coming because I I had watched it myself. But I didn't. And I we, no, none of us knew. Yeah, you know, it was that just. It was co- that's so why it's Dad so amazing. basically shared some information that we didn't understand, and I we filmed that video the night before I moved to London. Yeah, because it was. We're in a hotel, so oh. we we stayed in like a really fancy hotel to have like a, a last hurrah. And yeah, that's where it that is like the true magic of YouTube, though. Yeah. Those moments caught like raw. That's real it. Moments. It's like people that say is, like, oh. You know, they stage stuff. things nowadays or people yeah. film stuff. No, 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 but that you is like we had proper, catch raw. a moment of real life. That was amazing. It's worth Un- everything Unproduced. Else. And yeah. the fact that he had that little thing tucked away and he mm-hmm. knew this is when I'm going to share it now. And he, he still gets messages from hundreds of people yeah, a year saying this helped me come out or whatever. So he's a great guy. Aww. I love him. I wish I could meet them. I've always Even wanted not, to meet your parents. Not no. once. Oh, no. for God's sake. We have I to I feel like I have because I've watched them and like... Well, not for the next six weeks. We should, yeah. No. Oh, everything's a nightmare. I mean, We're going to do a meal. We're going to do a meal. Yeah, maybe next year. Yeah. Anyway. When Anna's coming out. <laughs> That's <laughs> yeah. not going to happen. <laughs> That's, I'm that sorry. That is going to get so many views. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, but no. My it's, coming out gender reveal. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> people are going to hate me now because I said that about the gender reveals. But if people give you a hard time over that, I will, I will protect you. Thanks. But how do you, I need to be, how do you know if you don't ask the question? No, I know. And how right? do you, how if everyone you else know? is making gender reveal videos, then how do you know? So I think you're the better person yes. because you put your hand up and you ask the question. I did it. Is Why shouldn't right? I do it? Or I, st- I did it. What's wrong with them? But still always like, there's a, still a part of me that's like, oh, but they were really, not, like, I enjoyed that. Right. So you're now thinking like, I want, I want my kids to have a gender reveal. Video. No, no, I don't think that way. I'm just like, I, that was nice for me. But selfishly, I think that. But no, then I'm like, maybe that's don't not so tarnish, great for them. Uh, don't tarnish what was a happy memory for you. Just yeah. Just make sure I just know that. You you move on from that by not implanting gender roles, mm. you know, into your kid that don't necessarily need to be there. And then you can enjoy the happy memory as it was. But I think you are great as a mother. Like Thanks. you're not. No, but in that sense, like you're not. You have your own mountains to climb as a person, but you are not subjecting your children to your ideas that you know mm-hmm. you are challenged with. Mm-hmm. But you say, I'm not going to I'm not going to pass that onto them i'm gonna let them be free and that's that's a really admirable thing you know and it's really really hard it takes a lot of effort to put your your head out there and go i want to learn a lot of people just bury their head in the sand and they're okay living in this sort of world of half truths mistruths and uh you know just Mm -hmm. sort of not yeah Thank you. So, I know because I know I've made mistakes. It's, a, like, it's, an, it's an effort you're making, and it's okay. it's a really obvious. And I think you're great for it. Thank if you. you didn't care, you weren't going to grow. You wouldn't say anything. That's true. I just I just want to say like I I apologize, especially like to my sister and her wife if they're watching, which they're probably not. But <laughs> just in case, you know, I just I I just didn't know how to react. Like it was just a different. It's like uncharted territories like I just I didn't know it wasn't anything that I had ever thought about or expected but I I'm just learning and I have made mistakes so I'm sorry for that and I'm sure you're going to inspire loads more people to actually put themselves in an uncomfortable space consciously Mm. to then learn I hope so well thank you for doing this for us thank you for helping us learn together (laughs) or helping me learn you seem to be pleasure. fine. You're like all like, you know, <laughs> Woke. all knowing. Woke. <laughs> yeah. I'm the one sitting here like. Ah. Yeah, but can we go back to 1862? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I loved it back then. <laughs> it was a simpler time. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Kids are back now. Kids so are back. Uh, oh, it's the no kids the rule is about to be broken. So yeah. thanks for watching the video, guys. See you later. Bye. Bye.